today we're in Mission Point Park getting ghost shrimp for our trip to the kelp beds in Point Loma tomorrow for sheephead. Let's go. Hey, what's up guys? Glenn with Sand Dog Kayak Adventures here. Just want to let you know we've got a trip tomorrow, Saturday the, uh, is it the 3rd or the 4th? I don't remember. The Mad Anglers, we're heading out to the kelp beds. The tide has to be set up perfect to go to the kelp beds. It has to be high right when you leave so you can ride the, out, uh, so you can ride the outgoing out to the kelp beds, fish, and it switches tomorrow around 2.30, so then we'll ride the incoming back in. If you try and do it any other way, you're gonna be a hurting unit. As soon as we put this trip up, a lot of guys wanted to do it, they just didn't, it was, you know, a three or four day notice, so they asked us to put up another one. We checked out the tides. The next available time to do this is uh, March 18th, Saturday, March 18th. The tide will be high at 7.30 in the morning. So if you wanted to book a trip, we have a thing on our website called Guide Service. Um, if you have your own kayak, but you've never been to the kelp beds, you want some uh, someone with experience to take you guys out. Uh, we've got guides that will uh, take you guys out to the kelp beds, fish for sheephead all day, get that sort of thing under your belt so you're a little more comfortable doing it on your own. But today, let's go pump some ghost shrimp, those little candy snacks for the sheephead. We're gonna catch, who knows what we're gonna catch tomorrow. There's gonna be a bunch of us fishing ghost shrimp in the kelp, so it should be great. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, smash that subscribe button, do all the YouTube stuff. It helps me out, you guys know that. And for all you guys who have subscribed, of course, thank you so much. Right now, let's go pump some shrimp. Should have uh, one of the mad anglers here meeting me, and uh, we're gonna get uh, a boatload. You can get 50 per person per day. So right now, there's two of us, so we can get 100. I think a couple other guys might show up just to grab some, so we'll be able to get a whole bunch of shrimp today to fish with them tomorrow. So are you a chief? Oh, okay, I didn't know. I thought you were first class for some reason. What? Well, <laughs> dude, I have no idea. I've never seen you in your uniform, I th but I've seen a picture. Screen name on the chat room. Well, I did, but see, it's, but it's, is your last name, your last name's Cabrales or something, right? Cabrales, yeah. Yeah, well, it's Chief Seaman. <laughs> and so I didn't know if that someone was, was making a joke or that's, what. That's so what, I didn't that's know. What, that's what someone uh, reading it, I was like, I'll just leave it. Oh, well, that's what I was funny. Because I'm like, okay, is he a chief? And they're messing with him. Is he not a chief? And they're like, I got I'm like, I don't know. What? Well, there's one. I just slid out. Remember I told you, you'll just see him walking around. He came out a second later. Boop. There's one. Bam. Big guy. And this is where all the big ones are too. If you get to those little holes in the very beginning, most of them are on the smaller side. If you have a small hook, they're okay. But basically, for the stuff we're doing tomorrow, you want the big ones. Chief Roll, the guy who put this trip together, he's the one who's like, hey, the tide set up perfect on Saturday. We should do some sheep's head fishing. And then he says, you should book some trips for that. And I was like, that's a great idea. Unfortunately, it was just a little too soon. I take Len with me for guidance. I do it. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I, uh, I was like, that's a great idea. I should have done this a long time ago. But it was a little, little too short notice for people. We put it out like on Wednesday. So the next one's going to be Saturday the 18th. We'll be doing it again. So today we've got basically nothing but mad anglers. We got Roll, we got Daniel, Torrance, me. Who's the other guy? Con and Frank. Frank. Yeah. And, uh, and Con's launching uh, from Smuggler's Cove on the sub base just because it's a lot closer. Um, but yeah, man, we're headed out to the kelp beds. We're high tide at seven o'clock. It's getting low, so it's going out. We're riding it out to the kelp beds. Just so you guys know, if you're fishing the kelp, let me tell you guys this crap so you know. When you're fishing the kelp, I always bring a string, a lanyard basically. This is tied to my bow, to the handle on my bow. So what we'll do is we'll pull up to some kelp, I'll tie it off, push off a little bit, and then we'll sort of, the, the current will pull us whichever way it's going, and then we'll just stop. So instead of drifting through the kelp trying to catch sheep heads, which is silly, you tie off to the kelp from your bow, let the current take you till it stops, and then you sit right there, and now you're fishing up and down, not going anywhere. So 
Kelp fishing tip number 101. I fished a couple bunch, just never took anybody out or really made any videos, so I'm kind of excited. Let's do this. Got us a little fleet today. One, two, three, four, five guys, and a six, excuse me, a six coming from behind catching up, and a seventh already up there. So it looks like we're gonna be seven deep today, fishing for sheephead, headed way out there to the point. Past the point, actually. You gotta go past the point to get to the kelp. But uh, that's the plan, boys and girls. We got ghost shrimp a go go. It's on. Dude, I know, I almost wore my wetsuit today. Roll just splashed for all you mad anglers. <laughs> oh, that's what happened was your cooler tipped? Roll just, Roll just fell off his boat again. <laughs> He did something wrong with his cooler and his cooler keeps tipping him. <laughs> Lesson learned. I guarantee whatever he did with his cooler, he won't do it again. Oh! But he smoked you. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, oh, did he take it? And then that second one, I was like, oh, man. <laughs> cool, maybe they're breezing through. Uh, about five cranks up. Look at this. Hey, nice. nice you said right there. Get in the boat, baby. That is a keeper. First go to the year. You. Two seconds later, dude. That was crazy. Yes, sir. I dropped it to the bottom and did about five cranks up and just, I've been sitting in the same spot for an hour now. Yeah, we're all, we're tied down. Just tie to a spot and just let it sit there. They'll swim through. Look at that, first goat. Oh, I know what I'll do. I've got an extra string. I'll make a leader. Yeah, baby, Torrance is on. They're coming through right now. I gotta put on a new hook, damn it. Bring it in, Torrance. Bring it in, baby. <laughs> you on? Uh, on the bottom. On the bottom. Yeah, drop to the bottom and like four or five cranks up. That's it. Torrance. <laughs> you got color? Oh, sh Torrance has got a beast. Oh, there's gonna be sheephead for everybody tonight. Hell yes. There he is, there he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, come on. Hey. Hell yeah, Torrance, is that your first sheep's head? That's my first sheep's head right there. Hell yes! And, and it was on my line too. <laughs> that was sick. Oh hell yeah! That was a good fight. Yeah, these Frank things are. Fish on too. Who? Hey, let's go, Frank. Frank and uh, Red Kaya. Oh, I didn't record it. What am I doing? <laughs> 
I got you on tape, bro. Hell yeah. Yep. Are you still on over there? Oh, I see your pole. Never mind, I have my answer. That looks like a lane pod, but I can't tell. Come, get the other one. He was a littler guy, wasn't he? Dude, he's hooked. Dude. He's doubled up. I hope this one's a sheep head. Are you snagged? Oh, you're on the tip. Damn, he's still on there. He's like, I'm coming home. I, I want to be in your frying pan. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, sheep head. Hell yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. That's a keeper, too. 12 inches. Oh, yeah, mine's like 17 or 18. Show him up for the camera real quick. Daniel, I just landed one too on the bottom. Hell yes. It's feeding time, boys. Hell yeah. Grab the tail and there you go. Oh yeah. Hell yes. All right. So far, everybody's got sheep head now. 16? Nice. Is someone on right now? Is anybody on? Oh, you just landed one, Daniel? <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm coming. I've got to uh, make a leader first real quick. Over 19? I say I just saw you get whacked. I just saw, dude. He just. I was looking at you right when your rod went bendo. Oh, he's on with a sardine. Let's see. That could be a calico. You could be getting something different now. Oh, I came off. Yep. Just reach in there, give it a quick slice, and then give him some dunks so the blood doesn't coagulate. Dude, fish just going off everywhere now. The next uh, sheep's head trip is Saturday, the 18th of this month. We're going to be doing the same thing. Come out here using shrimp to catch sheep head. So far, started off pretty slow, about an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours of fishing with not a ton of success, just kind of sitting around a couple little miss bites, and then all of a sudden, boom, 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 everybody got bit. Everybody's bringing home sheep head. I started off with this guy. And now I believe everybody's got, oh, you're the only, you got an opal eye. Yeah. I was like, everybody got a sheep head now, but you got an opal eye. That's okay, I can only catch one more. You can still catch two. <laughs> Are you still tied off to your stuff? Yeah, I am. All right. I, I don't know, I don't think I'm drifting at all. I'll just go tie off to this, I see some. Daniel, you got a uh, sheep head too? I had one on earlier. Mm. Let's see Daniel's prize. Have you caught sheep head before? I caught one by accident, but I today. Right on. You said it was 14? 14 and a half, right on the bottom. Right on. Hell yes. Sheep head everywhere. And we got to go get one more and then switch species <laughs> so if you want to do guide service and you have your own yak give us a call we can take you out here and show you how to catch sheephead or if you don't have a kayak and this looks like fun give us a call we'll get you in a kayak and we'll get you out here catching sheephead as well it's just that easy
You Roll just got hit by something nice. Just get it up, Chief. I know it's not the first time you've heard that. There you go, he's free. Just trying to keep the pressure on him so his head stays pointed the same direction so he can't dart into the kelp. Zay, that looks big, bro. Sheep's head? Hell yeah, bro. Now everybody has a sheep's head. Oh, you don't? Shit. Well, well, you'll catch one soon enough, dude. They're here now. It's just a matter of time at this point. Khan just got hammered. He's on. What? A shark? How big? Oh, big enough for you to keep? Well, there's no size limit, but we don't want it to be a baby. It's not a baby. Their tail, yeah, that's a baby. Their tail makes them look way bigger than they are. Yeah. That's, that's not, not big. that's not a thrush. Well, that's what I don't know. Yeah, no, the thrush's tail is way longer. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Trying to see. Oh, damn, that is a big. Where is. It's funny, I brought my little. That is a heavy fish, bro. Yeah. That's crazy how heavy that guy is. He's like underneath my boat. Yeah. Hang on. He's trying to hide. Stay up. There you go. Oh, it's it's in there. I'm, I'd All have right, to put my. Well, just cut that one. Yeah, hang on one second. Yeah. <laughs> the crocodile hunter. Yep. Yeah, it's big enough to keep. I don't know if we want to keep it. That is a big guy. <laughs> What's up, bro? We're going to cut this and get you free. <laughs> Fucking con wins. That is definitely the biggest fish I've seen seen firsthand brought up like that. I don't know the yellowtail that your client got, that female. Dude, it was not as big as that fucking shark. It wasn't no, it was, it that was that shark was man. that shark was 60 pounds or something. I thought I had him I thought you had him right in the corner, but that's just where the line was pulling. It's that hook was in there a little bit. I'm like no. Yeah that, that was a treble hook. That was a stinger. <laughs> Well, it's about noon. Everybody's caught fish. As you saw, more than likely, you just saw Khan catch that freaking uh, gigantic shark. Um, 
everybody's got um, sheep's head. Um, everybody's been catching fish. This has been one hell of a day. Still got a couple hours to go, an hour and a half or so. But as of right now, everybody's going home with fish. Everybody's caught fish. Everybody's having a hell of a day. This is what it's all about, man. I've been looking forward to today for a while, and it is not this point. What's up? Nope, nothing yet. Cons drive had a malfunction. Roll has his motorboat, so look who's getting towed in.